Today I wanted to talk a little bit about starting the carnivore diet. Now there's really two ways to start the diet. Either go straight into it, say, let's say tomorrow morning, I'm going to start the carnivore diet and I am just going straight into it. I am cutting out all carbs, all vegetables, all fruits, whatever, and I'm just going straight strict carnivore. That's the first way you could do it. The second way is to ease into it over at least a few weeks. So maybe you start out on day one and you're cutting out most of the highly processed foods and as much sugar as you can out of your diet. And then you're slowly um, decreasing the carbs, the vegetables, fruits, that kind of stuff. So that over a few weeks at the end of that time, you finally get down to where you're just eating carnivore. Now, there are pros and cons really to both ways. Uh, first of all, just jumping straight in, um, you, you know, if you do it that way for people that really have problems with cravings, um, it's going to be a little bit better for you, a little bit easier because you are basically cutting out all the foods, all the sugar that you would get cravings from right away. So hopefully the cravings kind of go away a little bit quicker. But there are also a lot of cons with this. When you just go straight to that way of eating, especially if you've been eating a lot of carbs, uh, you're going to be flushing out a lot of excess water out of your body, first of all. And that's going to be um, giving you a bit of an electrolyte imbalance, right? You're, you're going to be peeing out a lot of water. You might be sweating out and so forth. And um, your magnesium, your potassium, and your sodium are three particular electrolytes that uh, you're going to be a bit low on if you're not careful. Um, with that, just changing your diet, it, it's like that big of a change can be tough on your gut. And you can have issues there. A lot of people call it the keto flu. You might not feel well. Uh, you might feel um, fatigued and just not very well at all. Maybe have some stomach issues. And you might have some really bad loose stools. Um, and those loose stools, let me tell you, they can happen for a couple weeks where they can be pretty explosive and happen at pretty much any time. So there are some bad cons to that way. Now, if you look at the pros for going a few weeks, and this actually is my recommendation is to ease into the carnivore diet. Um, and I even recommend going maybe as much as four to six weeks into it before you're completely off all the carbs that you were eating before. But there are some good pros to this. Number one, you don't really experience keto flu. And I know some people can go straight into the carnivore diet and they won't experience keto flu, but a good number of people will. But when you ease into it, you shouldn't really experience those issues. Now you're still going to have some issues with electrolytes that you're going to have to watch. So make sure that if you notice yourself peeing a lot or you start to feel a little bit fatigued or something, uh, make sure that you're getting the sodium, magnesium, and potassium that you do need. And I will say right now, um, it it's good, especially at the start on carnivore, to have some sort of electrolyte mix that you use. Uh, personally, I take something called HydraActive. I'll have a link in the description for it. Um, and it's actually something that if you buy it from my link, I will get a little bit of a kickback. It's not a lot, but I do get a little bit. And so I'm going to be upfront about that. Um, but the cool thing about it is it's got everything you need. And it's also got some um, properties in it, some ingredients that help to lower inflammation. And then the other thing about it is not that expensive. Um, a, a 30 day supply is just less than $30. If you put it on an auto ship, it's $29.95. You'll get it free shipping and you'll get it once a month. Um, take it once a day and it, it'll work great for you. All right. But back to easing into the carnivore diet. The best way that I would suggest easing in is to start with taking away the highly processed foods and sugars as much as possible. Remove those things from your pantry and just don't eat those things. Um, 
you know, you might still, if you're a person that drinks soda, you might still drink a little bit of soda, which does have sugar, um, but try and ease that down a little bit as well. And um, it's okay to start out having some fruits and vegetables along with what you're eating. Now, over the next couple of weeks, lower that amount of carb, the amount of vegetables and so forth that you are eating um, at each meal. So that eventually at whatever your goal is, if it's a four to six week period or if it's a three to four week period, whatever it is, so that when you're at the end of that period, you're now just eating complete carnivore. Um, With that, you're going to notice that you're not going to have the keto flu symptoms. You're probably, if you do, you'll probably still have a little bit of the loose stools, but not as badly and it probably won't last as long. Like for other people, it could last a couple of weeks. It might only be for a couple of days for you. Um, so there are some good pros there. Now, the the main con for this is that if you are somebody that is really craving sugary foods and so forth, sweets, uh, this might be hard for you to do to just ease down. And it might be better to just try and go all at once. Um, again, I don't recommend that because uh, some issues that can happen with your gut and so forth. But I do understand you have to weigh the positives, you know, the, the, the pros and the cons and decide which way is best for you. So if you've already gone on the carnivore diet, let me know if you jumped in or if you eased into it. I think from most people I talk to that most people actually jump right in. They don't just ease into it. Um, But that can be a negative because some people will experience those issues and just decide, you know, it's not worth it or it's not working for me. And then they quit before they get past those issues and never got to experience the benefits. So let me know in the comments if you've already doing it or if you're going to be starting on the carnivore diet. Let me know in the comments what you think you're going to do. And uh, I hope to talk to you guys all again in the next video.